Hi guys, it's Maaike. Today I'm back for Carlijn Design with a slide up, light up card. Slide a card, light up card. Well, here it is. This is, um, well, the two and a half <laughs> of the third attempt because I, I made one last night and I filmed it. But uh, yeah, it has so many problems. I didn't feel. You see that wobbles and it catches because it, all the clouds stick out and stuff. And it, it doesn't light up properly because of all the problems. <laughs> so I just redid it this morning and um, I die cut the sun from the panel so I can inlay it. That makes it flat so the cloud can't catch on that. That was solution number one. <laughs> and um, I did try to laminate the card panel so that means uh, folding it in in half and then put glue in the middle. I did that for the card base so it, it doesn't wobble. That was the main problem with my Christmas light up cards that you can look up in my playlist if you want. Um, because of the wobble it didn't make proper contact. And so I thought if I laminate it that should take care of it. And it kind of did. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's not the easiest cards to make, I think. But um, I, I left all the footage in here. The other one was a bit longer, but because now I knew what I was doing, <laughs> kind of, I um, yeah could make it uh, quicker. I already die cut the slider as well. This is from Joycraft, but any channel that you have will do. And here you can see maybe. I trace it with a pencil where I need to ink blend. See, that's why I show you. I just glue it and then I left it all night. And now it's nice and sturdy. So it's twice 140 pounds. So that really won't go anywhere, I thought. I'm making the pencil really light because you could see them. And I thought it doesn't matter because I'm going to put distress oxides and they are opaque. Turns out when you apply them with a brush, they're not a big <laughs> so you can see the brush strokes to it and usually i will put the insert from the slider in the back so that the pattern continues but that's another sticky out bit where the coin or the, the slider thing can catch so i tried to pull it off in my first attempt and i ruined it and i tried to ink blend it and you can still see it so i started it again so <laughs> number three and by that time it was 2 a.m. so I thought I'd just go and have a nap <laughs> and see what happens in the morning and I can ponder some more in bed. This is um, stencil material you can buy to make your own stencils and I die cut two clouds from there or cloud lines and I'm just using them with my painter's brush to put some clouds on and I'm trying to avoid this sun because I don't want the green sun do I and see so yeah, I turn them both sides and then also I flip the stencil so you get different kind of clouds and here I realized maybe I could put the card base underneath but I didn't I just put some color on the card base and I think that's fine it's maybe a bit more blue than the cloud, but that's also fine with me. At this point, I was very much done, especially last night after two uh, pff, and a half attempts. Um, yeah, I just called it a day and I, I threw it <laughs> in the corner. But now, yeah, it's a little bit different. And I, uh, yesterday, I made a really big clump of clouds to fill up the sun, but that's also all bits that are stuck to each other so they will catch so I decided to just use one cloud that slides now for the electronic bit I'm just drawing where I want stuff to go I, I traced the eyes because I thought the Sun needs to light up and I have this LED light I'm not sure you can see but they're really tiny on one side there's an extra little strip that's the plus side and on the other side 
Turns out this one didn't work. It has it, it, there's a little bit of a black spot on there. But you see on the left and the right, there's a really tiny strip of contact there. That's your plus and minus. So that's where your copper tape has to catch. And, and that's really finicky. But there's even smaller ones that are even worse, I guess, because they're smaller. And I uh, still for the copper tape, I just put it on as close as possible to each other, but not touching. And to go around the corner, you bend it the wrong way first, and then you bend it back. It's a bit weird and counterintuitive, I guess, but it works. And here I went too far and stuck really good, so I just <laughs> went on the slant. And I made a bit of a mess down there, so I, I uh, fixed that later because I think that might have been a problem. But I also think my battery, I, I found it in my drawer. It wasn't in a package, so <laughs> it might just have been an empty one that I haven't put to the recycle bin yet. And so I, I did change that off camera because I already stuck it down really good. And that's the main problem with these... Um, cards is that because card is flimsy it wobbles and it needs to make proper context so I use a lot of sticky tape I wouldn't advise to use glue underneath the little light because you might cover up the contacts and if you cover up the contacts they don't contact anymore do they so <laughs> don't do that so I just put sticky tape on top and that's not the prettiest solution I'm sure but um, you don't see it because it's covered by the sun, so <laughs> I don't care. You see, uh, this one had a bit of a black spot in the middle. I think it was a faulty LED. But first I tried to fix the copper there. And put it closer together. And also flat because I had a bit of a scrunched up ending. So, <laughs> that light, I threw that away. See, now it does work. So, I stick it in place. See, now it makes better contact, it burns. And so, I stick the battery in place as well. And I use the copper coin. Uh, five cents, euro cents, uh, because that's also a conductor. See, and now when you slide my the, my cloud, when I when I slide my guy, <laughs> it's early now. I can't talk. When I slide my cloud, I slide the penny and I slide the contact in place because now it's a broken circuit, and the cloud makes it a whole circuit. So the battery is always actually turned on and the light as well it just doesn't get any juice because there's a hole in the circuit does that make sense I hope so <laughs> it made sense in my head uh, you can put tape over the copper tape that's okay uh, it's not ideal but sometimes you know there's no room for anything else and I kind of like the look of the whole edge being one piece and this is actually three layers of foam because of the battery and um, two might have been okay as well because you need the pressure from the card panel the top panel to push down on the contacts but um, yeah yesterday I, I noticed I needed three and then I needed to stack a lot of coins those slider coins on the back and if you don't want to use a penny you can cover one of those slider coins with uh, copper tape as well I did that yesterday it worked fine but I didn't get enough pressure and I had to punch more and more of those circles so in the end I just went for foam tape with this card because I think that reduces the weight as well it burns it doesn't burn it burns doesn't burn this is, this is a thing that drives me crazy sometimes 
So make sure you leave enough room for your coin to move around. See, so it works. But when you want to put the card panel on top, it doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not an electrician. I'm a prolific do-it-yourselfer at home. And um, I figure out things, how they work. I use blue foam tape. There's no real rhyme or reason for that, but I thought blue sky and I'm going to cover it up so you can't see it anyway. So two laser foam was a bit too much. So these are those slider coins I was talking about. And I put one and I covered up with double sided tape so it will be a sticker. So before I put the panel on, I better put some sentiments on. And the sentiments are from Carline Design. The sun, by the way, and the clouds are also from Carline Design. The, from zonnige teksten, which means sunny sentiments. And I used You Are My Sunshine, or Ray of Sun, Sonnestraaltje. Straaltje is a ray, but you know, something to that extent. It doesn't really matter <laughs> what you use. You light up my life. I don't care. Whatever you have. I mean, I do care, but it doesn't matter what you mean. It sounds a bit bad. <laughs> I don't care. Do what you want. That's what I felt last night at 2 a.m. And I also used interactions, interacties from Carline Design to uh, stamp schuif, which means slide it over on a cloud, just in case people don't get it. Because, <laughs> yeah, that would be stupid. You put all that effort in to make an electric card and then they don't slide your cloud to make it light up. That would be such a bummer. I'm using Versafine Clear Onyx, no not Onyx, sorry, Nocturne ink to stamp it all. And then what I'm at it, I'm just going to use a acrylic block. There's a big one, by the way. I used that last night, but it was a bit intrusive. So I'm choosing for the small one now. I wonder if I need to put a arrow in there from slide that way. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I stuck that to the card base instead of to the cluster of clouds because that made it catch and then I thought I just use one it won't cover it completely but it's okay because then they know there's something behind it I think I like that more the other one was a bit much so there's still like a grouping of clouds and I forgot the set face here so I'm ink blending and trying to get the versafine off <laughs> <laughs> but then yeah, oh, I forgot the face, so I die cut another one without smudges. See, now it doesn't work anywhere. I don't, I don't. And I think it was the battery that was empty, so I I changed that off screen. Because I just had to cut up all the sticky tape, and scotch tape. And But first I thought maybe if I put it onto the card base, it will be even sturdier, so it doesn't wobble anymore. And I cut that up to neaten it up. My little puncher didn't like the foam. It didn't fit in there, so. <laughs> so now I've fixed the battery. You can see now it works. I think it was just an empty battery or low one, you know, and it has a little bit of juice just to, uh, yeah, get it going, but it doesn't work. So on the back, of the gray i put some double-sided sticky tape as well because yesterday i used liquid glue and i got some seepage and that's not very nice looking i thought this is easier but then of course you have to stack them up properly yes, oh. i thought i would leave it as a shadow but then i thought no, i'll just cut it off make it look tidier now it's sticky, so I'm using my uh, sleeve. <laughs> and then it gets fuzzy. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, uh, I should tell you this is 8 a.m. probably when I'm doing this. So uh, not a lot of sleep and a very hard card. So I put on some more of those slider pennies on the battery as well, just to make sure the card panel pushes down and makes proper contact. Because you know once you close it, yeah, you're toast if you don't <laughs> have it working. You can't get to it anymore. And actually, yesterday I could kind of get the coin out from the slider channel and put it back in and uh, oh, that, that, that worked but it was a headache and I, I didn't want to go through that so I'm trying to line it up as good as I can and then get <laughs> the release paper off and it kept breaking stupid card <laughs> I don't even know who I'm going to give it to because I, yeah, it lights up yay so to, uh, I put some foam tape to raise the cloud a little bit and I'm cutting it to or I'm tracing the the size of the channel because I want it to be really snug in there and yesterday I just eyeballed it and it kept wobbling you can see that on the other card it, it just Wow, it looks horrible. And I'm covering up, see the blue coin, and now you can see a little bit of the sun. But as I said, <laughs> by this time, <laughs> I don't give a. <sighs> yeah. See, it still wobbles a little bit, but but I didn't uh, destack the edges. So in the dark, it says schuif, slide, and it lights up. And the sun smiles, of course, and, and yeah, the, the, a smudge appeared there. And it doesn't catch because I inlaid it all. And so I'm much more happy with this. <laughs> uh, thank you for sticking with me for 20 minutes. Um, thank you for watching. And I will see you again on Thursday. Bye.